So you guys, we gonna be doing something crazy. Like, honestly, this might be the craziest thing I've ever done in a minute. Like, with this experiment today, today, it's like, we not hydro dipping, we not doing this type of dip. We are, I forgot what we doing. We are customizing shoes, Air Force Ones to be exact, with Rit Dye. Rit Dye, y'all. I know y'all seen on TikTok, it's been going crazy, very popular. Shout out to Jake, if you don't know who Jake is, look him up on TikTok. But I had to give it a try because I'm like, yo, hold on, Air Force One, customizing. Air Force One, customizing, die, dip, that's me. That That's Xavier Kid. Come on, I mean, y'all can agree to agree, to agree, to agree, to agree, that that's me. Also, also, oh my goodness. We're almost close to 400,000 subscribers. Oh, I just, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, oh, get excited. Look, 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 look. We almost close to 400,000. All right, all right, let's get into the video, then I can talk later at the end of the video, all right? Okay. What's up, you guys? I am very, 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 very excited to do this. You know what I'm saying? I've been looking at this a lot on TikTok, and I'm glad today is the day where we officially try dyeing the shoes. So very first step is I'm going to be taking out the shoe laces. Got to take them out. Okay, you guys, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to prep the shoe. We're going to go into acetone the whole shoe. A lot of people are still asking me, what is this? basically acetone is it strips the factory finish off the shoe every shoe has factory finish right so we're gonna strip it off just so the dye can really saturate within the shoe Okay, so the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually tape up the swooshes on the shoe. So that's why you see I got this red vinyl tape, which is very good for when it like goes in the water, it's not gonna come off. It really sticks to the shoe. That's why I always recommend the red vinyl tape. And I'm actually putting that in the description below, so make sure you cop that. finished taping up the shoes now it's time to put the hot water in this bucket where I get this bucket from Walmart that's where I got the bucket from and then we just unclamp this we just throw this over there I got the hot water boiling in the kitchen now I'm gonna put the hot water in here then I'm gonna put the dye in here then I'm put the shoes I'm gonna dip it just like that not hydro dip but we rigged dyeing shoes today We gotta keep doing more and more pots. These are all the pots we got up in the house, for real. So you guys, I was ready to do this without any gloves and I thought about it. That's a terrible mistake. That's a terrible mistake. Don't, you're not supposed to do this without no gloves. I can't even put the gloves on though. But, it should be pretty cool. You know what I forgot? I got something to stir this up with. We gotta stir it up. We gotta stir this thing up like we stirring up some Kool-Aid. All right, that didn't make any sense. Put that to the side. So, the time has come, the time has come. We about to dip these things, ready, set, go. Oh, snap, how you get them to like, stay this? Oh, what a hot. Sheesh. So, I'm letting these things sit in here. You know what I'm saying? This is my first time ever dying shoes so this has to sit in here i'm thinking it has to soak it has to soak all in the shoe that's what i'm thinking it's really pitch dark i can't see a thing down here you know what i'm saying yeah we're gonna take it out take the brick out this water is hot though what i'm really thinking is these things have to sit in there for a little period of time but if you see it's like one right here yeah, so we're gonna let this thing sit for a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna show y'all the final result. No, first I gotta rinse it off and then I'm gonna show y'all the final result. A few moments later. We let these things sit in there for a good about 10, 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna take the brick out. This brick is hot. There you go, the first one. I can tell this look. It's actually pretty cool though, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's pretty dope. 
pretty dope. I'm gonna put this in here so I can rinse it off. I ain't trying to make no mess in the room, in the studio. Nah, that's pretty dope though. Yo, that's pretty tough. I can only imagine like after you like wash it off a little bit. Nah, that's pretty tough. All right, so now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna rinse them off and I'm gonna be right back. A few moments later. So you guys, this is how they came out. But we gotta take off the red tape. So I'm gonna take this off. Wow, satisfying. Satisfying. You know what's tough? Is that it made like the stitching that color. That's the tough thing about it. Now the only thing is the laces right the laces but I think with the white check I think you throw white laces in here I think it'll be straight person oh but that's fire though that's tough this is my for my first time I just got to put the laces I'm gonna let it dry and then y'all gonna see like the final look like at the end because I'm gonna put the laces back in here but you can honest you can honestly like take this out too like this part understand? Out too, but now I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, that's that's fine. You guys, look how this came out. These came out pretty, pretty, pretty fire. I mean, just look at them. Yo, yo, this is my first time ever dying anything shoes. Sh I mean, I've died tie dye shirts, uh, duh. But this is my first time dying shoes, and this is pretty cool. Like, look at it. I'm glad I taped up the swoosh because it just like goes hand in hand with like the laces. That's why I didn't dye the laces because the swoosh. But the the tough thing about it is it dyed like the stitching around it. Yo, this is fire. This is. I mean, this is fire. I mean, honestly, we may have to do a giveaway. Honestly, we gonna do a giveaway. We gonna do a giveaway. If you want a pair of tie dot shoes i said tie dot red dot shoes make sure to comment below down below comment your size follow me on instagram xavier kick 17 i need everybody to follow me on instagram at xavier kick 17 i'm trying to get to 18 now i'm actually trying to get to 20,000 followers on instagram you know what i'm saying so make sure y'all follow me on instagram but look these are fire look look just look at them yo and the crazy thing whoever wins I'm gonna actually gonna contact you and ask you what color do you want to do. Now let me tell you, Air Force Ones are very, 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 but they're like diamonds. You can't really find them. So this is a special, special giveaway because I can find Air Force Ones and I can provide you a custom pair of Air Force Ones for free if you want a giveaway. And, if, and all you have to do to, and, and, oh, my God. I'm talking too fast, man. I'm talking too fast as always. Look, in order to win a giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel turn post notifications on follow my instagram xavier kick 17 if you're not already following instagram make sure you follow my instagram with all that being said these came off fire i love you guys we want to roll to 400 000 subscribers hey yo hey yo we gotta hit that meal we gotta hit that meal this year we got hey we gotta hit that meal this year man i'm trying to tell you i'm i'm really dedicated because y'all my fans i love y'all y'all my subscribe i mean i love every single one of y'all egypt J Japan, uh, Africa, uh, y'all everywhere. Spain, Germany, I mean, y'all are everywhere. Trust me. And I understand. And I under. Uh, I'm talking too much. Dang, X. I always do this. I always talk too much in front of the camera. <sighs> All that being said, make sure you enter the giveaway. This was cool. This was very cool. And it's still a little wet, so I'm gonna dry them off. But still, though, these are tough. It's like a mint color. All that being said, it's your boy Xavier Kicks. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Deuces.